Hi, it's Josie and today I want to show you a quick little check you can do on your horse to see if he's just meandering around the arena on his own or if he's actually listening to your aids. It's very simple and it requires you to do absolutely nothing, so it's very simple. And then from there you can go on and I will show you how to do a little fix of it. If you like this video, I would love it if you gave me a thumbs up and if you hit the subscribe button. That way you don't miss any videos when I pop them out. So let's get on with it. What it requires is for you to walk through the corner of your arena with no reins, so no steering of your horse, no legs on your horse, and you need to watch where he decides he's going to start to turn. So I'll do this with Spider. Now he's had four days off, so I'm hoping that he's quite um, in his holiday mode. It's Easter here, so he's had a few days off, but he's in holiday mode and is not switched on to me. I haven't warmed him up. I haven't done anything. I've literally saddled him up and got on him. So that's another thing that you need to remember. Horses can come in from days off or even just um, tomorrow and they're a bit duller than they were the day before. That's why you should go through your basics and check that they're all switched onto your aids. That should be part of your warm up. Let's do this. So I'll just do a circle here in front of the camera and then you'll see no reins and no legs. Now it's gonna be hard for me to keep my legs off of him because it's a habit for me to use them. So no arms, no legs, and Spider is starting to turn now. Now that is not where I would choose for him to turn because I would like him to go a little steeper into the corner. So that tells me where he turns, okay? So you need to keep that in mind for the next time around. Now when, he, when we go around this time, I'm just going to put my inside leg on him and see if he will stay on the line of travel from my leg. No reins. So I'm going here and I wait to hear he's moving. Right, did you see him come there? Did you see him come off my leg? I put my inside calf off of him and asked him to stay on the line that I chose. which is very good, good for him. He's a good boy. He should be, he's, he's a little bit further along in his training. On a green horse or a young horse or a horse who doesn't understand that, they, they will just completely ignore your leg because they don't know. So we'll do that again and I'll show you what to do. So if I got here and a horse didn't listen, so I've put my leg on, he hasn't listened, I'd actually say, excuse me, thank you. So I gave him a couple little taps Sorry, Spies, he really didn't need them, but a couple little taps for him to move over. So he needs to learn that when the leg goes on, he moves over. So if you're on a very green horse, you make sure you just have his nose tipped in and then this leg on him and ask him to go into the corner. Good boy. You may end up having to stop him tip his nose and ask him to step off your leg. You might need to do that in the corner or if he continues to fall through, just out here remind him that that leg means to get off of it. So if you've got a really green horse or a horse that doesn't understand it and he's here and you put your leg on and he's not off, what I would do is stop and ask him, good boy, to move off my leg like that, get right off my leg and then I would go, go forward. And the other little trick for a horse that just continuously pushes through is to actually get into the corner and turn him the opposite way to what he wants to go. So when he gets there and, and he um, wants to turn his way and not bend into the corner, so I'm here and I'm asking him to go and he won't turn around, I just turn him to the outside. And you do, you can go up and down, back and forth on the short side or on the long side of your arena and turn his nose away and walk back and turn his nose away. And what you'll find is you'll get to the point where you would normally turn him away and he will think that he's going to be turned into the corner and then you can just keep going straight but he's not pushing through your inside leg. So we got here and Spider's used to being turned that way and now I can just put my inside leg on him and he would go into the corner. 
good boy spider. So that's just a little uh, check that I will often do and I will particularly do it. I don't do it so much uh, to be honest on my more advanced horses because there are other exercises but that exercise is such a good exercise for a young green horse to learn what your actual inside leg means. It's before you actually, as you could see, I wasn't actually doing bend or anything in the corner. I was just asking him to stop falling into the corner against my inside leg. It'll also help you feel when your horse starts to turn off of the line of travel and take his own corner. You will feel him on your inside leg and you will also be able to feel him move off of it when you put it on. Sorry, Spider, I just did then. Hope that helps you. Thanks for watching.